Come to Caribbean Flavors Restaurant and Bar in Charlestown for the best in local cuisine. Have your food prepared on the spot or served in a buffet-style setting with quality customer service. Get your day started right with our variety of homemade breakfasts. Try our sumptuous lunches, wraps, sandwiches, and so much more. Located at the Cotton Gin Mall, Charlestown Nevis, overlooking the Charlestown Bay. Open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturdays at 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 469-9009 or 763-5452. Miss French Samantin, Tassiana Clifton, is the 2017 Haynes Smith Miss Caribbean Talent and Teen Queen after amassing 464 points in the pageant on Saturday night. Held at the St. Kitts Marriott Resort for the first time as part of a rebranding effort by the committee, the pageant was dominated with portrayals of Hurricane Irma in talent and theatrical appearance segments, as some of the contestants were from islands ravaged by the hurricane. Miss Samantin also won Best Evening Wear with 67 points, wearing a green dress with leaf designs depicting growth and renewal of her island in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. The Queen also won Best Theatrical Appearance with 124 points, also a depiction of Hurricane Irma, this time as the French Queen Marie Antoinette, lamenting on the travails of Hurricane Irma but expressing confidence of renewal. Tassiana narrowly defeated Miss Anguilla Destiny Bryan, who finished first runner-up with 461.5 points. Destiny won Best Talent with 221 points for her portrayal of a kidnapped girl seeking to break free from physical and emotional turmoil. Miss Barbados Megan Green finished second runner-up with 439 points. The newly crowned Queen Tassiana Clifton was elated with her win and see it as a victory for her island in the midst of the destruction from Hurricane Irma. I am really excited, I'm really happy, only because my message was St. Martin will smile again, and I know St. Martin is smiling. One thing I can say, I know that I am a conqueror. I use my platform through social media, seeing that I moved away for educational reasons. It was a moral victory too for Tassiana, as she had to evacuate from the island in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma to continue her education. Her chaperone, Carlicia Phillips, said it was Tassiana's determination why she was even competing considering the challenges to prepare for the pageant in the midst of the hurricane devastation of San Martin. This one was a tough one as Tatiana portrayed throughout the whole night about Hurricane Irma. Um, she had to evacuate out of the island to further her education. Her homework damaged everything. So it was a bit difficult for us to prepare for this pageant because she was off island at the time. She came in, I would say, a week and a half before the show, so it was a lot of cramming. And, but she was very determined. She was like, I have to do this. I want to do this. At one point, it was like, I think maybe you should just sit it out for this year because things is going all crazy. But she was like, no, we got this. We're going to do this. And she wanted it, and she got it. And I, I couldn't be more happy. Now I can't even catch my breath. <laughs> Miss St. Lucia. Kathleena Lawrence won the best interview segment with 90 points. Explain how pageants can positively impact women and girls. Growing up, I was always a shy and timid person. However, having entered the Queen of Grizzly pageant this last August, I was able to overcome that challenge and become a more outspoken person. So I think that Having entered this pageant and having developed myself personally through the Queen of Rosalie pageant, the stigma attached to pageantry is false. Being in a pageant does help your personal development. And I think that all women and girls should release the stigma attached to pageantry and look at it as a doorway, an opening to express yourself, to become more confident, as an opening to show your talent and to show the world that women are not just idols or models or people who look good. We are confident, we are strong, and we are independent. The pageant was keenly contested as the six contestants showed poise, grace, and exceptional talent. Chairman of the committee, Mr. Antonio Maynard, was pleased with the outcome of the 38th edition of the pageant held for the first time outside Carnival Village. I think change was a good one. It was a marketing strategy that we came here and it worked. Everybody loved the change and this pageant remains the most prestigious pageant in the entire Caribbean. We lived up to the um, expectation and 
reputation of this great shop. 38 years. 38 years. And we have worked hard um, over those years to maintain a particular um, standard. The talent pieces were enthralling. Miss St. Kitts, 16-year-old Alicia Barry, sang the song Beautiful, expressing the importance of self-esteem. Miss Antigua Barbuda, 17-year-old Zaria Bidou, performed the song Rise Again in tribute to the hurricane-ravaged sister island Barbuda. Kathleena Lawrence of St. Lucia did a talent piece entitled Resurrection of One Beat, playing the steel pan to highlight the significance of supporting the performing arts. Miss Samantha portrayed Hurricane Irma destroying the island, and Miss Barbados Megan Green did the song Rise Up to portray the effects of bullying on persons with disability. Due to circumstances beyond her control, Miss Guyana was unable to attend the pageant.